Hey there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the lookup table formula in Workado. This can make recipes much more efficient in removing the additional step of actually using the lookup table itself. And I can show you how to do it just in the field that you want to get the value for. And I'm also going to show you how to match multiple fields to get an exact value when there might be um, multiple fields that, that would match a criteria. So to start off, I'm actually going to show you, you know, how this can normally be done with the additional step. So in this recipe here, in step three, I have to look up an entry from uh, our events field lookup table, which this is our events field lookup table. And then I'm just going to write to a variable here, uh, job title, uh, writing the value from step three. So this is, you know, kind of the, the normal way that you could do it. So I'm just going to click save here. I'm going to come up to Airtable. And this is what I'm just using uh, for this uh, the trigger event. So here I have string one, which this will map to the event ID. And then string two is mapping to uh, the field in the lookup table. So I'm going to uh, bring that down, bring those down. And then when I click run here, that's what actually triggers the event. So if I back out of here, start my recipe. We'll see that it found the ID of that row, and then it wrote text 555444333. And if I come up here, that's exactly what I was expecting. So that worked perfectly fine. But again, this step is really unnecessary because I can do this right in the field itself. So um, I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to edit the recipe. Going to skip these. And now. So here's my, my formula. So for that job title field, I just have lookup, and then in parentheses is where I have my uh, the logic. So I have event field, which is the name of the lookup table. Uh, then I have the field, which is this header right here. And I'm using a data pill here. So I'm using string two from step one. So string two from step one. And then I'm getting the column heading value. So value right there. So now I'm just going to uh, actually I'm going to start this first, and then I'm going to add a new row here, uh, all the same information. And then when I come back, I'll check for new jobs. And we'll see, I once again, once again got text 5544443333. Um, so that saved us the step and we didn't lose any more information. So now I wanna look at another thing though, because we'll see in some of our other uh, rows here, we have duplicate values. So we have two event names, two sources and two destination statuses. And we can see that the event is different for them. So for event name here, the the event ID is 929610. But for this event name, the ID is 497612. So uh, if we don't specify, it's really um, up to Workado which value it's going to um, select. So for here, I'm not going to put in an event ID in string one. I'm just going to put uh, event name in string two. And I'll run this recipe. Let's get back out here. Check for new jobs. And we'll see that it took uh, text one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is this one right here. So it grabbed um, the, the information for event 4976. One, two. But what if we actually wanted this field value for this event name? Well, now we have to specify that and we need to add one more uh, piece of information to our formula. So I'm going to edit the recipe. I'll come down here. After this, I'm going to put a comma and then I'm going to put uh, this field name of event. And I'm going to grab that data pill from step one. I'm going to save that. Start this out. And I'm going to make sure I grab the right value here. So it's 929610. 
So let's do that six one zero event name. And we'll run that. And we'll see. Now I got text 987654321, which is this event name. So, um, you know, and if this table had more than three columns and there was an additional column, let's say that event name came up twice for the same event, but there was another piece of information that we could use to decide which value to get, we could add that into, you just have to add another comma, the column heading, and then whatever data pill would match to what you want to look up. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, just please leave uh, something in the comments. Thanks.